This will not be my first time hearing Fear Not This Night, but I'm really excited to break down the vocalism, the lyrics, and some of the musical sprinkles of joy and wonderment that exist in this track. Before we dive into the singing aspect of this, I want to talk about what goes into writing an introduction and why introductions matter so much. This is a classic starting with very simple instrumentation, and then as we expand, we layer and we grow in volume. Crescendo means to grow in Italian. <laughs> and the thing here is that this is actually incredibly important to the buildup. You've just finished Guild Wars 2. You've just finished a monumental story. And now there's a moment of quiet reflection, not only because the game is over, but also for the player to reflect on the experience of what 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 hours of gameplay has been like. As we start, we arrive at this feeling of stillness in a piano. And then we have strings, very elegantly legato, long bowings, nothing crazy. Because the whole point of this is to let us remind ourselves of where we've been and where we're going. God, that is so good that I forgot to talk. <laughs> let's let's rewind and break it down. Classic start. We pull all the way back after a full orchestration there. We pull all the way back as we wait for the singer to make the entrance. And the entrance comes from a piano place. It doesn't come from a loud place. It comes from, Hear not this night, you will not go astray. Very internal very like sitting next to each other having a conversation and i think what's really beautiful about this is fear not this night ba, 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 you will not go astray there's a resolution but i love that it kind of meanders around fear not this we go up in the appreciation up in the court fear not this night back down you will not go astray Shadows fall still the stars find their way. It's the same pattern. Though shadows fall still the stars find their way. Whatever. It's the same melodic uh, approach. As, as fear not this night. So that's a that's like a four bar phrase. And it feels really good musically. She ascends up. Though shadows fall still the stars find the word. It's really delicate. It's it's gorgeous. From a quiet sleep, hear the whispering of the wind. 
So that's lower in the octave. Waken from a quiet sleep, hear the whispering of the wind. That's much more introspective. Let me give you some advice. It's almost like a whisper. When we drop down the octave, it's a little bit more meaningful than Awaken from a quiet sleep in the whispering of the wind. That's much more proclaimed, announced, but when we drop down in the octave, and especially when we get a little bit of bre breath and air, Awaken from a quiet sleep, hear the whispering of the wind. That's much more. Let me tell you something. We're adding harmony, we're adding layers of vocalism, which is really effective, especially when the last, what, four sentences, they've all been really pulled back, really one person singing this last phrase, awaken as the silence grows in the solitude of the night. We started having a swelling in the instrumentation, there was a piano in there doubling, and so we're building darkness spread through all the land and your weary eyes open silently. There's a bit of that heroicism, we're, we're rebuilding what we heard in the introduction, but now through the vocalism. Yeah, gorgeous. So then when we have this fear not this night, you will not go astray. Now we have that added emphasis and we have that crescendo, we have the strings, we have this, this is like the climax of the piece where we're repeating ourselves from what we did at the very beginning of this piece. But now there's an emphasis. Now there's a resounding feeling of purpose. And fear not this night, you will not go astray, the shadows fall. Still the stars find their way. Right. It's a little bit more emphasized, especially because we're up in the upper register now. We're not dipping down. We're actually staying up, which is much more emphatic from a vocal perspective. We pull back again. Also, that's a little interesting gesture there because not only is it always all completely pulled back, but it's also silent and there's a little bit of whisper. There's a little bit of, uh, of breath. Of there too, and listen to the consonants. That's a nice little thing too. Auroras make circumstance in the solitude of our life. Listen to the way auroras, we understand that auroras are floating like this. And so to going auroras, it's a little musical gesture that makes you think it's word painting. That's the pitches. And then we add auroras and you get the idea of an aurora.
and it tapers off much in the same way that the vocalism does because you know dawn is just a heartbeat away dot 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 home is just a sunrise away dot 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 so there's a real feeling of hope and rejuvenation and possibility after a long story this is an interesting song because it's both strophic in that the text repeats and the music stays the same but then there's also some variation so it doesn't follow like your standard classical song style like a, like a Schubert song or something where it's the same melody all the time. There's a lot of variation in this where it borrows from those aspects of those classical compositions of art songs and the thing, the precedent, the things that have come before with this added layer of uh, being a modern song. And it's gorgeous. And I love the variation on the themes there in the second half where, you know, the soprano pulls back and is saying, ah, and doing like her own singing on vowels and the background harmony take the melody and stuff. And so there's a lot of like bouncing back and forth which is really lovely in this song yeah i mean it's gorgeous feel free to check out the links in the about section if you want to support the channel otherwise there's tons more videos here for you i'll see you later bye